What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Chucky, the TV series in this video here today. And it looks like we are going to get our first look or glimpse or people at San Diego Comic Con anyway are going to be offered their first glimpse at behind the scenes footage from the upcoming Chucky season two that we know is going to air on the USA Sci-Fi Network later this fall. We know it's also shooting out in Canada at this present time. So uh, this is coming from an Instagram post and I'll actually just try to leave a link to an article so you guys can read about it But the Instagram post I'm seeing here is saying and shout out to you Chucky updates 88 for this screenshot You put on your story, but it says San Diego comic-con to offer first look at Chucky season 2 Creator Don Mancini Brad Dorf and surprise guests will commence at San Diego comic-con on Saturday July 23rd from 6 45 to 7 45 p.m. For back with a vengeance a special event moderated by TV guides magazines Damien Holbrook featuring an exec featuring an exclusive behind the scenes look at season two of the series now i don't really think they're going to show them a trailer or anything like that it looks mostly like i guess we'll just have footage of maybe maybe let's say like the cast talking about the upcoming season with footage of them enjoying their time on set working on season two and stuff like that maybe somebody will share little tidbits about what we can expect in the upcoming season of course i'll make a video talking about that maybe we'll learn some new specific details about what lexi devin and jake are going to be up to mostly though this doesn't sound like they're going to get a look at an official teaser or an official trailer or anything like that it's most likely going to just be a montage of behind the scenes footage with the cast and crew being shown sitting in chairs on set hyping up the movie not the movie the upcoming season of the series i meant to say something like that or it could just be again just a a montage of literal literally behind the scenes footage with nothing else to it but that but chances are there's going to of course be the cast featured in the footage talking about it while it splits over or cuts to them shooting season two we'll get to see lachlan watson in their role as glenn glinda probably get a better understanding of that i know some of you chimed in in my last video explaining that maybe what they're doing is just literally having lachlan play both of those children that we know existed at the end of of Cedar Chucky since uh, Lachlan is non-binary so yes they could do that going off of that but this is a nice little tidbit to see over here on this Instagram profile I found and I did a, again look up some articles and I'll leave links to one of them in the description for you guys to know that they are going to have footage of Chucky season 2 behind the scenes footage anyway shown at the San Diego Com Comic Con now I know some people are like well who are these guests I hope one of these special guests are, I think her name's Catherine Hicks, who plays Andy Barkley's mother. Uh, I can't think of her name. Karen, Karen Barkley. I hope we get to see Karen Barkley back in season two. I hope we get to see so many different surprising faces in season two. I know people want to see Detective Norris back. It looks like they, they've literally all but confirmed outwardly with specific wording that Kyle survived that explosion. Which to me, I feel like I wish that would have just remained a mystery. But honestly, how how can that remain a mystery when, you know, I feel like her name's been announced all over the place. That a lot of people are just going to be like, yeah, she she survived the explosion. There's probably not even a necessity to have a scene shot like that to show us her surviving. But they're more than likely going to again show us how she survived. Or we'll at least get bits of dialogue from Kyle herself explaining in a way. And again, I will then go into full belief that that scene with that explosion was completely useless andy survived devin survived kyle survived nobody was in danger there it literally was just there to of course get your audience emotionally invested in that occurrence but there were no real stakes there given that nobody was hurt <laughs> uh that's the assumption i don't know maybe kyle actually was injured from that explosion and she have some some difficulties going forward in season two i'm really looking forward to mostly just catching up with nika though the most to seeing what's going on with nika don mancini himself has already hyped up that nika's story isn't over and we shouldn't expect this to be the end of nika fiona dorf i talked about this in other videos sounds like she's she thinks that nika should get some type of revenge against tiffany i hope we see something like that the prediction i have right now in my mind is that tiffany will end up becoming a host for nika soul for whatever reason because honestly it seems like there's a there's a plan to potentially kill tiffany in season two i see a, a plan going in going in effect from chucky himself given what happened to him, between him and tiffany at the end of season one where tiffany's life will be at jeopardy the human tiffany because of what she did to chucky at the end of season one and 
one of the dolls will spend their time trying to get get Glenn and Glenda to kill Tiffany, I assume. And my prediction is that Nika will, of course, be be full on for this, especially considering that Nika also has a part of of Charles and Chucky's soul inside of her. So there's a chance that I can see Nika subscribing to that if she sees that there's a plan to kill Tiffany because she's she's upset at Tiffany. And if there's a chance for her to get revenge on Tiffany, I feel like Nika wholeheartedly will take that chance. And I'm also, of course, going off of the audition tapes that surfaced online. And I know I made a video about that, too. I really do hope that she gets some type of vengeance. I hope she doesn't end up losing herself because of it. But I also wouldn't be too shocked to see that Nika is going to end up in a new body by the end of season two or halfway through season two. She'll kill Tiffany and then join forces with Andy, who, again, I'm hoping we see some type of closure with what's going on with him and the Tiffany doll in the back of that truck from season one and what's going on with those dolls that need to be tell need to be transported around the country. Because, again, it was very clear by the end of season one, the intent is to take over the states, take over America, worldwide domination or nationwide domination, I guess, is the better sense. So we'll see what happens there. It's nice to again know that San Diego Comic Con people in attendance will be able to get some behind the scenes footage released to them or they'll be able to see it, I, I'll say. And I, I can only assume it's going to be released online shortly after. That's my assumption. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. And the fandom who isn't present for San Diego Comic Con will get to experience what everyone in attendance will get to experience when they release this snippet. First look behind the scenes footage of season two online. And everyone, of course, will go batshit crazy over it. I'll make videos about it if there are indeed tidbits about the upcoming season. Share my theories, speculate as always, and see what your guys' thoughts are on all of this. But if you're someone who's actually going to attend San Diego Comic-Con, let me know if you're excited about this this uh, first look at Chucky you might have a chance to see, or you're going to have a chance to see, again, if you're in attendance at San Diego Comic-Con. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications, you can never miss a video in the description. I will have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. The last thing I want to say is that I really want to know what some of you guys want to see happen with Nika in season two. I really want to know what you want to see happen with that character. I know you've chimed in in other videos, but I want to hear from some other people that I haven't really seen comment before what you want to see happen with Nika. But with all that in mind, guys, I'll see you in the next video.